In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use matches to improve the readability of our unit test. This video extends from a previous video I've done where we use the different types of assertions that are available to us with JUnit. And all we'll be doing in this video is refactoring them to improve the readability. So if you want to see the context behind these tests and to visit the different types of assertions that you can use with JUnit, I will leave the link to that video in the description below. So for this video, I'll be creating matches by using the assertj dependency. There are other packages and libraries out there for you to use to use similar types of matches, uh, such as Hamcrest and also Fest. Uh, however, in this tutorial, we'll be using assertj. So now if I move back into the player statistics test class, we can begin refactoring our assertions by making them more readable using the assertj package. And we're going to take a look at the assertion patterns that we can use for each of these different types of assertions to make them a little bit more readable. And that is the end objective that we have with using matches, that is to make them a little bit more readable. So the first test we have is called assert equals, and we're asserting that player Patrick under 30 is the same as player two. So rather than having assert equals, we will use the keyword assert that. The first argument we're going to pass into assert that will be the item that we're evaluating, so that will be player two. And then we can do is equal to, and then we will have player Patrick under 30. One note to take here is that when we're using assert that, the first argument that we pass in is the actual item that is being tested. And then we will have the expected item afterwards. Whereas when we use typical JUnit assertions where we have assert equals, the first item is what we expect. The second item is the actual value. Uh, now, if we were to read out these two assertions to ourselves, we could begin to realize that the second assertion sounds a little bit more natural to us when it comes to reading this test. So we have assert equals player Patrick under 30, player two. Whereas with the second line, we have assert that player two is equal to player Patrick under 30. So if this test were to fail and we were to come back and read the assertion that we're making, it's that second one that sounds a little bit more natural for us to understand. So I'm going to remove the first assertion and I'm going to run. We can see the test has passed. I'm now going to continue refactoring the rest of the JUnit assertions using assertj to improve the readability. So for assert not equals, we can just use assert that dot is not equal to For assert same, we can use assert that is same as. For assert true, we can do assert that dot is true. And similarly, for assert false, we can do assert that dot is false. For assert null, we can do assert that dot is null. And similarly, we can do assert that dot is not null. Lastly, the assert array equals assertion from JUnit doesn't actually have a equivalent method using assertj. So for this example, we would just use assert equals. I can run the remaining tests together. So now we can just take a look at the improved readability that we've achieved by using assertj and the matches.
So that summarizes this video on how to use matches to improve the readability with the SearchJ library. In my next video, I'm going to look at how we can create custom matches to replace perhaps some of the other assertions that we have to improve the readability one step further.